Hello. All right, so here I am inside a dashboard for the website and app. If we go to Curation Builder, here we're going to see a lot of things happening. We'll be taken to the interface where we'll be able to enter keyword suggestions. We can do image editing and back to the curation section. So if we search, we can curate from top new sources. We can also curate from web host blogs and also from Google Plus as well. So if I should type food in the search bar, then do a quick search, we'll see content that is related to food. And what I love is we can add a title here just by simply clicking the Add Title button. If we wanted to use this as a featured image in our post, we would just click here. We can also drag and drop the content here. Easy as that. Nothing hard or complicated about that. We can also edit and search for existing posts or existing pages as well. Now, if we wanted to edit an image like this one, we could simply click Add to Image Editor and the image is brought into the image editor where we can start to manipulate the image in accordance to the various settings. For example, we could add text. Now, let me go back here and re-add the image to the editor. Here we go. We have the text. Here we can change the shape. You can do various types of manipulation of the image. You can rotate it. You can change it to a different shape. We can draw on it if we wanted to. We can add text as well. Here's some text. We can change the colors of the text and the size of the text as well. We can underline. We can italicize. We can make it bold. There are so many things you can do with this plugin. We also have the keyword suggestions capability. If you wanted to get some keywords related to food, you simply enter the root keyword and click Go. And we're presented a list of keywords that we can use within our post or within our pages. We can also connect to various social media networks as well, using the API that's built in. We also have Bloomberg as well that we can get source from. We have RSS feeds. If we wanted, we could get content from these. Also from Flickr. If we wanted, we can get content from Twitter as well. You see it? All this content from Twitter that is based on food. You simply drag and drop the content into the builder. Super easy. And of course, we can also save and publish the post as well. If I go back here and I choose to add this post here using the drag and drop interface, add it as a featured image, and we could save the post. Actually, let's add a title before we save. and you can see that this post was successfully created. If I want to edit the post, I can certainly do that. And now that I've created the post, I can actually search for it. It will be reloaded back into the editor where I can again make changes to it. So it works even on posts that were not created by the tool, which is what makes it extremely powerful. I'll reload it right here. If I wanted to further enhance the content, say for example by adding an image to the post, I could do that. As you can see, it gets inserted right here.
Another thing that I love as well is that we also have YouTube. So if I wanted to get a video that is related to food, simply use food as the keyword and automatically videos will come up. And now we can preview a video before we actually add it to the post. Then click here to add it to the editor and that's it, you're done. So as you can see, I have a blank site here. If I reload it, we see our content right here. We've got links, an image, a video, all done in a few seconds with just a few clicks of the mouse. Web Siphon allows you to rediscover the web, to automate, to post and publish for profits. Thanks for watching.